Hello and welcome. Today I shall show you how to perform PL measurement. Here we have this Oriva Fluoromax class of uh, instrument, spectrofluorometer. And there we will put sample inside this chamber. We are performing PL measurement for solid state sample. Let's go to here. Go to this M experimental. This M. Put it here. It is initializing. Now we will go to spectra. Here we will take the emission spectrum. So click emission and then next. Okay, fine. Here I will excite the material with 325 nanometer wavelength. The slit width I am changing to 3 and uh, the data acquisition will start from 3 uh, the 350 nanometer and I will choose it up to 620 nanometer and the slit width is 3 now go to detectors click R1 also now click here I need S1 by R1 it's fine now run here we are getting the spectrum The sample is uh, one kind of TiO2, rutile TiO2. Uh, actually, the sample is rutile TiO2 nanorod based heteromic structured material. So, we are getting the PL spectrum of the material. We will take S1 by R1 when we will plot. So, please give one project name. This light TiO2 in P1. Okay, legal character that we cannot put bracket here. Just check. Okay, fine. Now you can save it here. Yeah. Uh, I can change the name here in the graph, it would be good. TiO2 in T1 and by the top 325 mm by 3 slit that's fine. And this set. So if you want to run the measurement once again using the same parameter click it here and it will edit the spectrum again using the same parameter values It looks same, almost same intensity in every case, so it is fine. Hope you have understood the process of doing real measurement. If you want to change something, then 
you can do it from here you can go to mono this monos and you can change the wavelength of excitations so that's 50 um, 70 um, it should be less than 700 so let's put it uh, 680 and likewise okay thanks a lot for watching stay tuned